Hello family, friends and followers. Welcome to the next instalment in the action-packed adventures of the Sweeney's Creek Farm Orchard. Filled with spills and trips and all sorts of things, but uh, we are getting there. So this video will show you the next stage that we're up to with the fencing. Uh, the poles have been put in and concreted and braced and uh, we've now started to put the wire around. So we thought we'd document the process that we went through there. Uh, we've got a heavy gauge chicken wire if you like around the outside of the orchard set at four feet or 1.2 meters high this will be a fence to keep the rabbits and hares out very effectively and will also discourage the kangaroos eventually the fence will be set at 2.4 meters or eight feet high uh, we've just got a few more wires to run up there to persuade the more persistent kangaroos and encourage them to eat in other places on the farm not inside the fruit orchard We've got all of our posts in for the orchard now and we've just gone through a process now of bracing them with these uh, cross braces. So the process there is uh, a pole that runs down on an angle, we think about 60 degrees. It's attached here with uh, screws and we have a star picket down the end also screwed to stop it moving back that way. Um, this is within the height of the fence so we can actually use that as part of the support as well but it's definitely going to be stopping that fence post from moving left and right as we tension it up. The next part of the process is to tension these wires which will be uh, top and bottom of the fence. So this is high tensile wire, it's able to withstand high, high tension um, and will support the fence and hold it in the right position. That's the reason why we've got these stays here uh, because it's going to put a lot of pressure on the fence posts. We don't want them uh, buckling left and right with the pressure from here. This is the system that we use here for tensioning the wires. These are called a gripple. And you can see that there are two ent an entry and an exit point there, and the same on the other side. So the wire basically goes through, round the post, and then back there. Uh, there's ceramic teeth in there that hold onto the wire, and it's basically a ratchet system. This is the specialized tool that then grabs, and it has two components. It has the, the part that holds the gripple, and then it has a, a, claw, a set of claws which will hold the wire and pull it through. If I can get this set up here, get that in there, grab hold of that and then it's a simple matter of pulling that and you can hear that wire stretching and tightening and 
simple physics using those levers. And that's not bad. Very simple uh, system. We love using the gripples. It just makes fencing so much easier. We've used these extensively right around the farm. We'll be continuing to do so. Uh, look, they even come in handy setting up trellis for vines and grapevines. Uh, very easy way to tension wire. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's a tiny little hole there as well, which you can actually insert a fine piece of wire, which will release the teeth, uh, which means the wire can then be extracted. So they are reusable, and we have picked up secondhand ones and reused them as well. The next step, um, we need to get some more wire for this one, is we're going to be running some wires up the post and along. Uh, they're going to be at a height uh, that's going to dissuade kangaroos from coming across. Uh, it will have uh, gaps in there, but it will give a visual for the kangaroos. Um, we have star pickets that are going to be supporting the middle parts of the fence and they will hold those wires as well. Um, and that's just to stop the, the big kangaroos from jumping across and gaining access into the orchard. These higher wires won't be under as much tension. They'll be tight, uh, but they won't be tensioned up to the same degree as these, which will be holding up the, the mesh fence. Next step, we've just completed the first roll out of the first roll of wire. Uh, so we've rolled it out alongside, stood it up. We've just temporarily clip, clipped it up to the top to the uh, high tensile wire, just to hold it in position. Um, we're just going to stretch it so it's reasonably tight. It doesn't have to be um, extremely tight. It's very heavy duty wire. It's going to stand up under its own weight, but we'll just make sure it's nice and tight and flat, and then we'll secure it on the corner and then we'll tighten this back uh, run as well and make sure that's all secured nice and tight as well. There you go, that's the process that we went through uh, getting the wire attached onto the fence all the way around the property. Uh, we've got one of our gates installed, a little personal access gate here. There is another larger gate going on the other side which will allow for tractor access into the orchard. And uh, having been all over the orchard yesterday with a hand mower, uh, providing access to a ride-on mower because I don't really want to keep mowing this with a hand mower, it was quite, quite a task. We're extremely happy with how this has turned out. Uh, as you can see with the construction, we've got a, a top tension wire, we've got a middle wire to support it, and a bottom wire down there, which we will peg down into the ground. Uh, as I said, just trying to discourage any rabbits, hares, and also the kangaroos. The little kangaroos will actually go under the fence if they can't go over, so we've got to make sure that it's nice and tight all the way down. Another future addition to the fencing is something to again discourage the rabbits and hares. They're burrowing animals, they're very good at digging under fences so we'll be putting a trench in front here, we'll be laying wire mesh out to 600 mil or two feet and then covering that back up with the dirt so that as they dig down they'll strike that wire and uh, be discouraged and not be able to dig through. Thanks for coming along and viewing another video from Sweeney's Creek Farm. Uh, we certainly appreciate all the support we've got. If you've liked the video, please hit that like button. Uh, if you're enjoying the channel, please uh, hit that subscribe button and join the family. 
If you've enjoyed the video, please comment below, show that you've been here and visited the farm. Uh, we love to see the comments and respond to them. It makes us feel appreciated and, and supported. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Uh, you'll see a fairly old man with a fairly dodgy hip uh, pushing the lawnmower around and cleaning up this uh, orchard. It's uh, worth a little bit of a look. Thanks for everyone for being here. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon, guys. Mm -hmm.